This is the breath work that will make you calm, centered, and creative. Keep watching. Yeah. I'm inspired. I'm inspired. Hey there, guys. How's it going? My name is Sumed Chatterjee from the Flow Zone Academy, and I'm a flow state coach, which means that I help you feel better and perform better. Today, I'm going to be teaching you a very simple breath work that you can use that will actually change and transform your character to be way more calm, way more centered, way more creative. Okay. Now, these things are very important because we start off with motivation. And we have to learn. And we have to learn how to be creative in what we're doing. And then we have to have flow, which amplifies our results. Okay. This is the peak performance primer from the Art of the Impossible book. Okay. That's what it states. So, this breath work is really tapping into a couple of different things. Okay. First of all, I say that breath is the Google Translate of the body. Okay. I got this from a coach who was on uh, me and I have its podcast, the Better Man podcast, a really long time ago. Basically, if we say calm down, everything's going to be okay. The body doesn't understand what we're talking about. We may as well be speaking another language, but the language of the body is the breath. So when we can calm our breath down, make it our breath slower, guess what? We're going to be more relaxed. But if we can speed our breath up, guess what? We're going to get more energy. So dependent on that, you want to optimize your breath and notice how you're holding your breath. Maybe you're, uh, maybe you're a mouth breather. Maybe you uh, breathe very shallow from your chest. You want to really start to work on this. But this I found is very, very crucial to change your character essentially around because you really start to embody the feeling of the character that you wish to play. Before we begin this work, it's very beneficial that you have an image in mind of the character that you want. It could be just an image you found online for a fantasy artwork. Maybe it's uh, an image of a mentor that you have. Maybe it's an image of someone that you highly respect and admire and revere. It could be the image of a specific character from TV, movies, right? Have an image of the character or the frequency, the energy, the vibe of that person or entity, whatever, in mind before you begin, okay? Now what you wanna do is hold that image in your heart and one hand over your stomach. So before you begin, just imagine that you're taking that image and you're putting it towards the heart. Now the heart is what releases oxytocin, it's the love and the trust hormone, right? So when we actually tap into the power of our heart, our heart coherence, guess what? That's associated with flow state, heart rate variability, right? And also, that's what is associated with manifestation, okay? Because the heart and the mind working together, thinking and feeling together is what causes manifestation to happen, okay? So, what I want you to do is take a deep ice cream scoop breath from the bottom of the belly, okay? Just first breath. This is number one breath, is the belly breath, is. The second breath is a chest breath. So first belly breath. And as you're doing this, you wanna imagine that you're almost taking all the tension and the stress that is preventing this character in your heart. And it's a first breath and then it's a second sip of breath from the chest. So it's like this, okay? So it's. and then you hold, and you hold that breath for five seconds before you exhale with a sound. Now the sound that you exhale with is either a shh or a sound, so that you can hear the, the fact that you're letting something go. It's an auditory cue, okay? So again, visualization. And we're gonna do this breath five times so that you guys understand it, okay? Let's go.
Good. Very, very good. So if you could follow along, great. If you opened your eyes, that's fine too. So you could see the video, obviously. So notice how when I was doing this, right, I went back into a straight posture, right? So it's that expansive and contractive energy, right? So before you're about to take the breath, you straighten your posture up. And the quick way you can straighten your posture up is you imagine that you have wings or that you are almost like, uh, like Superman or you have a cape on. So that is an automatic posture readjustment, okay? So hold and then. So as I went down, right, I let myself fall back into the seat, more relaxed. You notice also my shoulders went up and they went down. So that's, these are cues that you're getting more and more relaxed, right? You're releasing tension from the body. Our, our shoulders hold a lot of tension. It's when we're carrying the burdens of other people, our shoulders start to ache. When we get more in our heads and we get really trapped in our heads, we start to get more headaches. You also might be getting tension headaches, which is associated with the lower part of your neck, right? Giving yourself a little bit of a massage in that area is very nice. Um, in order to deal with some of that tension headache, you can also, what you can do is tuck your chin in and hold that and then let it go. Tuck your chin in, hold that and let it go as you're doing the breath as well. And I find that the tucking the chin in is very nice because again, that's, that's really connecting the, the head with the rest of the body. Right, a lot of the times we, we live very disconnected and we live on our phones and on our computers and so we work very fragmented with these two areas, right? We disconnect ourselves. We almost decapitate ourselves and we stay in the mental world and not in the physical world, okay, a lot of times. So when you do this chin tuck, this basically you want to imagine that you have a coin here. You want to hold that coin, right, like this. Right, that's the chin tuck basically. It's like the that um, you can do that if you want to add an amplification for that okay and this is really good for those tension headaches okay you'll notice those slowly going away now start to practice this I, I did it five times I recommend you do it ten times so I want you to practice doing this breath ten times daily okay and when you start doing this you're going to notice your, your character is slowly changing you want to notice that there is subtle changes you'll notice in your relaxation and how you feel this throughout your body. The reason this is really great within your character is again, you're, you're transporting that image into your heart and you're holding it there and you're letting go of anything in your character traits that don't belong as you're letting them go, right? So the shh is bas basically like the pressure releasing and the tension releasing. So it's the entanglements that get us to actually be in our heads, be very hesitant and not be in a very specific authentic way. Okay, so when you can take away the entanglements, or some people also call it armoring, okay, there's facial armoring, where we might hold a lot of tension in our face. So, you notice a lot of people are like this. All right, they're, they're not free in their face, they're, they're not relaxing their face, so that means they have a lot of a pent up aggression, pent up tension, pent up uh, emotions that they haven't processed yet. Now, um, we might also have armoring for our hearts, okay? We've closed it off due to heartbreak, due to lack of trust in people, people who've betrayed us. We put up heart walls, okay? Now our heart walls can be different textures. Someone can have a wooden heart wall that that's the boundary, right? But some people might have an adamantium heart wall that they don't let anybody in. They're not never vulnerable, they can't do that. So it's also important to slowly, slowly soften the heart wall as you do this practice because what you're doing by softening is you're letting the image of the character that you wish to be to slowly soften the heart walls down. Okay, so that's a bit of the background of this character progressive technique. Now this is only one of the character progression techniques. If you sign up for the course Writing Reality, we're gonna actually take you through a protocol where you will quantum leap or quantum jump into the character that you truly prefer. And this will be done through different maneuvers, different ways, different techniques. And if you found value in this video, you'll find way more value in that program. 
However, having said that, I hope this video helped you out today. Have an incredible day. May the flow be with you and stay legendary. Let's get it today. Boom.